Hi Ori, it's Travis here and welcome back to our adventures in Azeroth. Last episode, we made our journey up to Northrend and we fought against the Vykruel. We're trying to invade Valgard, which is the Alliance camp in the Howling Vizjor. Today we're going to be taking the fight to the Vykruel. We're going to try to finish up some quests that we picked up last episode. Yeah, I don't know if you guys noticed this, but when I logged in, you can see the hot breath coming out of uh, DK's mouth. I didn't know they had that effect in this game. And I wonder if it's only in Northern. It's probably in Dunmoreau, too. You'd, you'd probably see hot air. I thought it was kind of cool that they added that. I don't remember seeing it in uh, TBC or Classic. It's probably in retail. So we gotta free some people. I wonder if we have keys. Nice. We do. You have my thanks, hero. If you don't mind, I'd like to stay. By your side, and exact a little vengeance upon my captors. Hmm, looks like we're fighting these two. We got another key. Should be the final key that we need. There's a quest over here that we got to pick up. Harpoon Operation Manual. Alright, there we go. We rescued the prisoners. Let's go over here and turn in this. What the heck's going on up there? This guy's like walking on the air. It's so weird. <laughs> Nice. Help me with this guy. Like, jump in the air to attack him? <laughs> so they didn't fix all the bugs. And also, they announced uh, Dragonflight. Well, the date. The launch date. It's coming out November 28th. Which is two months from now. Not too bad. Gives you like a solid month to like level up and experience the game before Christmas holidays. Which is nice. Blessings upon you. But I don't know how it's going to be for uh, the people that are into Mythic Raiding. If the first raid's really tough, and it goes into, uh, if the world first race goes into Christmas, that'd be pretty lame. Especially for the Raiders. So I think they probably should have saved the release till, um, next year, but they want to release it now so they can tell their shareholders they made a bunch of money, I think. You found Zed. You're no doctor, but the progat prognosis for Zed is most assuredly negative. It looks as if they were preparing to feed him to the works. Gruesome. Seems like they're trying to feed us to the works. There's no sign of the cipher of Zed. After carefully searching the area, you discover some writing in the dirt. Lore and day inside the catacombs have cipher and tablets. Perhaps you should head to the catacombs located north of here and search for Glorin, Feld, and Dagarn. The bridge crossing the ward pit will lead you right to the tunnel leading down into the catacombs. 
Okay. Alright, so I guess we'll, uh... We'll head down to the catacombs. See what's going on down there. Still eating this Dalaran mild cheese. Try to get rid of it all. But we got some better food on us. Is this where we got it to go? The, this little pit right here? Yanis the Mystic? Yeah, supposedly they're underground here. But this only goes so far. Yeah, I'm not sure where this quest is uh, turned in. Can we get this guy out of here? Yeah. I guess we'll free him. And then we'll have a companion for a little bit. Oh, what the heck? <laughs> Was he in the cage too? That's so weird. Yeah, I'm not sure where this is. Search the Utgard Catacombs in Glorenfeld. Okay, well, I read the quest. They said there's, like, a tunnel near where the wargs are. Head north and enter the Worm Skull Village. Once there, look for our people. If they're, I think we did that already. Yeah, it's just north of here. Search for Glorenfeld and Dagarn. Supposedly the bridge will lead us there. So we got to go up this way. All right, so before we do that... Try to find this quest over here. I wonder if it's in the water. The Harpoon Operation Manual. Is this guy chasing us? Maybe he just drops off of, uh... Vicarol. Maybe it's in this, uh, house over here. this guy just go inside there? Yeah, my thanks, hero. If you don't mind, I'd like to stay on your side. Get a little bit of vengeance. So it looks like it's... Yeah, I don't know where this is. Alright, we're just gonna go turn in this quest. See if we get any more quests in Valgard. What can I do for you? Those soldiers you rescued had a good bit of information for us. These monsters call themselves Vicruel. The tribe that's taken up residence in Wormskull Village is led by a mystic named Giannis. 
who himself is an underlying underling of another Vicruel known as Ingvar the Plunderer. While we were able to gather very little information as to the whereabouts of Ingvar, we do know that Ioannis resides in the cave next to the war pit inside Wormskull Village. Intelligence gathered from the the rescued soldiers indicates that Giannis guards Dragonflare battle plants. I need you to go back to Wormskull and cover those plants. Kill any Vicarol that get in your way, including Giannis. Light bless you. King's honor, friend. Into Utgard. Yeah, we have to get in Utgard's head. We'll do Utgard. We'll do uh, Utgard keep soon. We do have the quest for it, so we should do it pretty soon. I guess now we'll go slay uh, Giannis. I remember him being in this cave here. You might be dead. Do I have any health pots? Oh, another one? Now we're dead. <laughs> Damn it. Alright, getting a little too cocky over here. I thought I could just run in, but then we just had, like, I don't know, 20 Vicarul. Well, not 20, but like 3 Vicarul and a couple of works. Probably gonna have to fight this guy. And our guard died. Didn't help us too much. I guess he tanked some hits. And then, uh... As he went down, we went down pretty damn fast after that. Alright, so we got the battle plans. I wonder if it shows you anything. It just says battle plans, that's it. Nothing special. Okay, we're getting chased down again. I don't really know what to do with these two quests. I guess we'll just have to find the catacombs another time. And I think this is probably down the catacombs as well. We eventually find out where that is. Well met. Have you recovered the Dragon Flayer battle plans? Vice Admiral Keller glances over the plans. Outstanding. By the looks of things, there are many more Vicarul villages in the Fjord. A different tribe of Vicarul is preparing an assault on Westgard Keep. Hell, for all I know, it may already be too late. We haven't heard from Westgard in days. Either way, we must alert Westgard. Okay, so what should we take? Got a leather chest. It's not bad. This will take the shield and sell it. Westgar Keep, Vice Admiral Keller rolls Go up the battle. Friend. Greetings. Plans. We've got all the information we need to keep Valgard protected. 
You must take these battle plans to Westguard Keep, located on the western Fjord cliff wall. Speak with the Flight Master Assistant, Emmeline Winterwind. She will put you on the back of a griffin headed towards Westguard. Once there, find Captain Adams. He's the one in charge. Adams will know what to do with these Be plans. Careful. All right, so maybe we should try to do these two quests before we leave. We could just head north and try to find these catacombs. So I don't think we're going to find them at Westgard. It's all the way over here. Oh, there's the proto drake that walks on, uh, Walks on air. <laughs> oh, great. We're going to die again. You got to be kidding me. I'm going to chain slice everything. Yeah, you can't just run through. Oh, we're in a health pot again. It's not going to help. Okay, we can fight this guy. So we don't die. Don't die. Alright, we lived through that. That was a close one. This will use the better foods. These kind of sucks. Gotta eat the better cheese. The goat cheese. Alright, so let's head north. We'll try to investigate this uh, Echo of Yermoron. And we'll have to fight our way there. I'm not going to try to run by anymore. So is this it? We've already been in here. Wants you to search Wormskull Village while you are in the spirit world. So how do we get in the spirit world? Take this incense burner. Okay. Where's the incense burner? See if we can find in our objectives. There it is. Looks like we're going into the spirit world, guys. Ancient male Vicruel. So then you two are cursed. Points to the infant. The gods have forsaken us. We must dispose of, of it before Yermoron is notified. You cannot, I beg of you. It is our child. And what are we to do, wife? The others cannot find out. Should they learn of this aberration, you will all be executed. I will hide. I will hide it until I find it a home far away from here. And this is a human. Kind of the runts of the litter. And I guess she uh, hid it in Azeroth. Or I guess to the south. Down in uh, Kalimdor. No, not Kalimdor. Easter Kingdoms. <laughs> So that's interesting. So I guess the humans came from uh, Northrend. That must be the case. So do we have to return here in Spirit World? I guess we'll go back. We'll deliver it while we're in Spirit form.
Each day is a I don't understand. The creatures that you saw looked like the Vicarul that are attacking Velgard. All that we know of the Vicarul indicates that they only res recently appeared in Northrend. Why then are we seeing Vicarul in visions that date back 15,000 years? Surely if the Vicarul had previously existed in Northrend, we would have known. We must press on to Niflvar to get there. He must go northeast through Wormskull Village and take the path leading through the dam. Niflvar is on the bluffs of the Fjord. Use the incense burner once you arrive at Niflvar and search the area for clues. Dionys Okay. So I guess we'll stay here for now. Still don't know where these catacombs are, so we might try to find that out. Okay, I'm gonna head north of here and search for the Thorn, thorn Feet and Dagarn. The bridge crossing the warp pick will lead you right to the tunnel. Okay, so we gotta take the bridge. Which is just up here. I'm just gonna start pulling a bunch of stuff. There's so many. Oh, great. Once we don't pull this caster, it should be good. Let's run back a little bit. Yeah, there's the bridge right over there. Ah. Oh, that's the catacombs right over there. One reason why I like stealth classes. I can always get by stuff. But I don't mind fighting everything. You get a bunch of XP. Like we can't skip a damn thing. Yeah, this is the catacombs here. Wonder if we can get by this guy at least. Look at this guy just running in. He's cleared the way for him. Good thing now, though, is he's going to clear the way for us. So this is like the, where I got to use the spirit thing. Or the incense, whatever it's called. I wonder if I can use it here. There it is. You need to be in Niflvar. Okay. Well, maybe Niflvar is what they call this place down here. Or what he calls it. Alright, so let's see what we find in the catacombs. Looks like they got some Vulk here. here. About bloody time, Pulroy and Zed are dead, and Dagarn, Lauren Field, shakes his head. Taken by the Dragonflayer Chieftain into the depths of these catacombs, I overheard that oversized mongrel mention something about a sacrifice to the Dread King. The cipher is hidden away in Dagarn's grimy beard. What? Dwarves hide things in their beards all the time. They're keeping Dagarn locked up in a cage at the large fighting ring nearby. From what I've gathered, Dragon flares are being are bring out their prisoners to battle against the most powerful gladiators. 
They dump the losers in the basement where Scourge Necromancers turn them into ghouls. Horrifying. But first, things first. Tablets are strewn across this dungeon. Let's get those recovered before we, you go off trying to be a hero. Okay. We could unlock these. I guess I don't have any more keys. We could use some help. Can I pick that up there? Yeah. Try to sneak by this guy. I'm sneaking by him. Where that other DK went? I'm interested to see what this uh, fight ring is all about. Two more after this. This will go with this mage. I'm gonna eat some cheese. I wonder why she came in here and just walked out. I actually came in here when I got lost on my horde character. I didn't know where the heck I was. But it seems like a guard keep is like the connector. To like every different part of uh, the Howling Bajord. Alright, so there we go. We're done. Just gotta turn this in. Is this the quest over here? Yeah, it is. Nice. Alright, so let's eat some cheese. So I was right. Had a feeling it was down here. Strange that we don't fight these, like, Valkyr things. Like they don't attack us at all. Got the Harpoon Operation Manual. Perez gasps for air as he tries to speak. I'm an envoy of the Argent Crusade, charged with a sacred duty. Our forces were decimated in the Plague Lands. By the light of dawn, the artifact was cleansed and made pure once more. So many perished in the wake of its redemption. There is still a chance, still time. The artifact was hurled into the den of the fallen, far below us, guarded by the unmerciful dead. Hera's body glows with blinding light. Light will protect you. Alright, so if we do that, we get another sword. And then we could start, uh... 
I'll use it one-handers or dual wielding. Probably should have done that earlier. So let's turn this quest in. We also got this, uh, this manual. Slightly singed, but no worse for the wear. Where we got this bubble again? Affected by the shining light, undeath is propelled by your presence. Check every nook and cranny. You've done well, mate. Now that we've secured the tablets, we can try and save Dagon's life and recover the cipher that will help us decode the meaning behind these ancient relics. I'll hold onto these tablets. You rescue Dagarn. You might have already seen the room where Dagarn is being held while you were gathering the tablets. It's through the corridor and then down a set of steps. Dagarn will be in the room at the bottom of the steps, locked up tight. Get down there and fight him, and find him. At the very least, you might be able to get the cipher from him. Alright, so let's do that. Let's try to get some use out of this Shining Light ability. I hope it helps us when we're down there trying to save Dagarn. I think we can go even lower. Yep, you found me. Whoopity do. And no, I don't have the cipher. My beard was the first thing those beasts checked. Olaf's the one that got it now. He's the chieftain of the gladiators. Olaf will come out if you defeat the other. Gladiators, that's about the only way we're getting the cipher back. Put on your wampum boots and get busy in the Ring of Judgment. If you do manage to get the cipher back, return it to Glorenfeld. Over near the entrance to these catacombs. Me? Don't worry about me. We're on the brink of discovering the missing link to humankind. Oh, we've got somebody fighting us. Here. Do we have to fight these guys? I hope they're not too tough. So you get rezzed? What do they do? Oh, they're taking their souls. That's their soul harvesting here. That's the whole point of this place. Burgess was unworthy. Test your battle prowess against a true soldier, the Lich King. Jarborn the strategist. Oh, well, we got a bunch of people coming out to help us. Who's next? Good, more flesh for the harvest. Yoris, the flesh harvester. Get away from that. Let's get a ghoul up. Is that the last one? Olaf the Violent, the ring will overflow with the blood of interlopers. Olaf has come. Now, this is the last guy. Ancient Cypher falls to the ground. Got it. Alright, so we bring that back. That other guy... ...said... Oh man, time remaining. We have five minutes. Bears... I want you to recover the sacred artifact. It's down here. Ha ha ha! You're all gonna die!
It burns, it burns, come closer. Why are these guys still following me? I always like that. Good boy. Yeah, me along. So it'd be probably be impossible to get through here without this. Sacred artifact. I think we should probably rush back a bit, though. We are, uh... We are on a timer. For five minutes. I need to eat something, though. This is what all the souls turn into, ghouls. What the heck? One actually hit me. So they make the they make the ghouls then, I guess. See this guy. I guess he was a patrol. It's the play here. I guess we grip him solo. I don't think we can skip the guy on the side. Maybe we can. Skip them. I have to fight this guy though. Perez is unconscious. You feel compelled to place a sacred bride next to the body of Erez. Upon doing this, you are once again blinded by the light. So let's take the stone blade slicer. Erez smiles, glory to the light. You have done it. Erez coughs. Take the artifact and return to Valgard. Lord Irulan Trueblade awaits its return. Fight with honor, friend. Always honor. Okay. Just got a couple things to bring back. Let's have a bite to eat before we pull a bunch of stuff and die. Dagarn, the Cypher. Fascinating tale. Something is actually judging these things. To what end? For what purpose? Well, never mind that nonsense. Someone else can figure out that stuff. 
We got the cipher and the tablets back. The only two fatalities in the whole ordeal. Tis a shame we lost two of our best dwarves while uncovering these relics. They sacrificed their lives to keep this information safe. Glorenfeld wraps the cipher and tablets in a tattered cloth. Take these to Valgard. McSorf will know, will know what to do with the find. As for me, I'll be all right on my own. I've gotten this far in one piece. All right, so let's, uh, I'm going to take, make a death gate. Because we got two swords now, I believe. Yeah, we do. Our bags are filling up pretty damn quick. This is bugging out. Alright, there we go. Got a lot of scrolls we need to use. We'll go to the DK trainer first. Just want to make sure... We don't have any ability upgrades. Yeah, we got a couple. Death Strike rank 3, Plague Strike rank 4. Unholy Presence, that's cool. Frost Strike rank 4, Howling Blast rank 2. So we'll just look. Okay, yeah, we just learned everything. So that's a big damage upgrade there. You can actually rank down Howling Blast. Why would you want to rank down Howling Blast? I thought they just automatically upgrade. Is CK like that? Yeah, this one is. Yeah, that automatically upgraded. We now have Unholy Presence. Fuses the Death Knight with Unholy Fury, increasing the attack speed by 50%, movement speed by 15%, reducing the global cooldown on all abilities by 0.5 seconds. Only one presence may be active at a time. Okay, so we got that, that. I guess I should make a keybind for this. Let's put that there for now, and uh, we'll make a quick keybind for it. I can't use that as a keybind, that's weird. Hmm. If I can make that a keybind, there we go. That worked? No. Yeah. Alright, so we're gonna go down here. And we are going to... Put these slicers on. Because I want to give these a try. I think we'll use Cinder Glacier. We'll give Slender Glacier a go again. We were using Razor Ice last. I guess we'll go double Cinder Glacier. Alright, there we go. So let's hearth back. We'll turn in these quests. That's one cool thing about DK. You can easily just, you know... Get your weapons enchanted and learn new talents by just going through the death gate. But it should be a pretty big upgrade. 200 was 75.6 damage per second. And these are eight, these are both 84 each, so our DPS should go up by a, a lot. Light be with you. By the light. Many men and women died to recover this blade. Alas, I fear Valiant Eras will not be the last. But you do the light's work, hero. The Sayer's blade will be wielded by Lord Tyrion Forgering himself. Even now, the Argent Crusade works toward Ice Crown. Lord Forgering has vowed that he will tear down the walls of the cursed place himself, and with the blade, he just might stand a chance against the Lich King. Lord Forgering remains our greatest hope. Light bless you. Let's see what this guy has to say. Need help? So you're the new hot. Oh yeah, <laughs> hot shot in town. Did you find the manual? 
Zorak flips through the manual. Hmm, interesting. According to the manual, the bike crew will have a special tool that allows them to control the harpoon guns with deadly accuracy. It looks a bit like the wheel of one of our ships. Furthermore, it's portable and seems to plug into the harpoon gun like a key. We need to get our hands on one of those. Don't worry, trap box. This is all going to lead to something big, huge. You're just going to have to trust me for now and do as I ask of you. We need to get the mechanism mentioned in the manual for the next step of the plan. I have a strong suspicion that you'll find one on one of those Vikerul that operate the harpoon guns in Wormskull Village. You'll find them on the east side of the village, on the docks by the longhouses. Go with honor, friend. Okay. What can I do for you? You're back. Sorting these tablets out is going to take some time. All I can gather from recursory study is that whatever used to be here was an ancestor of the humans. Those Vicarul things probably killed them all off anyhow. We'll know more once I get these relics set up. All right, nice chest there. That's what we'll be wearing. Okay, so let's put this chest on. Off with you. Now we're going to have to sell all this other stuff. Got a little bit of bag space. And I don't want to sell everything because we do want to put some stuff on the auction house. So I'll get rid of this. This is actually from... Uh, the Mechanar, I think. Purified Drainic Water. Looking for something specific? Um, another mana item. We should be good here. I think I'll just get rid of the soulbound items. Hold on to the BOEs. I think we'll sell that. And that should be enough for now. Alright, guys. Safe travels. Well, that was a pretty good episode. We almost got all the quests done in Wormskull Village. And I think uh, next episode we'll try to finish this Harpoon Control Mechanism quest. And then we'll be making our way to this new area where Captain Adams is. But that is the end of today's episode, guys. As always, thanks for watching. Keep your heads up. Later. Later.